Well hi folks and welcome to Old Classic Car. Now in this video I thought I'd do a theme of colour and in this case yellow, yellow classic cars. So to begin with we've got a lovely old Jowett Javelin. I'm guessing this is probably early 1950s. Built in Yorkshire, idle in Yorkshire. Quite an advanced car for its time. Following the uh, Jowett, we've got an equally unusual little car here. This is a Renault 4 CV. This particular car dates to November of 1955. Rear-engined 750cc car. Let me know if you're a fan of yellow cars in the comments, please. Um, here, PK01, is a wonderful ISO Griffo. This car dates to May of 1969. has a 5.4 litre V8 engine under its bonnet. What a car that is. That was at Tatton Park Classic Car Show quite a few years ago now. To Cape Thorn Hall, and we've got an early 1970s Fiat 500. Uh, great little car, lovely sunny day, sunroof open, perfect. Carrying on with these yellow cars, we're down at Brooklyn's Museum. And this is a Napier. This is the T38 Colonial Deluxe, built in 1911. It's a four cylinder and a 2.3 litre engine. Back to Cape Storm and an early 1970s Rover P6 in yellow. Lovely cars, uh, quite advanced for the day. All those panels can be bolted, even the roof, a bit like the Citroen DS in that respect. To VSCC Lowton Park, we've got a 322 NOU, a GN Special. 3.3 litre engine in the front there, built very much with hill climbing in mind. A great little car, and there's a Ford Model A in front of that. Carrying on with these yellow cars, another classic Brit here, RMY741, which is an Austin A40 Sport. Note the uh, bug deflector on top of the bonnet there. Still at Mulvern in 2005 or 2006, and an early 1970s Mark III Triumph GT6. Bright yellow car, very, very smart indeed. Same venue. And a side view now of a vintage Bullnose Morris, a little two-seat tour by the look of it. Uh, Bullnose, um, in the late 1920s, they went to a flatter radiator, but early to mid-20s it was the Bullnose shape that you have there. Now 419 UYP, slice of Americana, this is a 1954 Chrysler four-door sedan. Classic VW time now, and we've got a 1971 VW Beetle. Back to Cape Thorn, we've got two yellow cars here. There's a P6 just in the background, and in the foreground is one of the M100 series Lotus Elans, a front-wheel drive Lotus Elan. Beautiful little car now, Alton Park, SB3792, is an Austin 7 Swallow, Swallow bodied Austin 7 from March of 1931. More Americana, we've got a Mercury Cougar, I believe this is vinyl roof, yellow body and a black stripe. Another cheerfully yellow car, LJD352, is an F-type Vauxhall Victor, um, circa 1957. Those little circles on the ex uh, rear bumper there are the exhaust outlets. That was dropped on the uh, Series 2 cars. Now to Alton Park, we have a 1965 MGB Roadster, taking part in the Keep GTS, which reminds me, I think that's coming up um, very soon. Another MG, this is the forerunner of the MGB of course, this is the MGA, and we've got a Roadster version, some were 1500cc, some were 1600cc, and there was also the twin cam, uh, most cars were the B-series powered cars. Back to Lowton Park again, and we have an Austin 7 Special here, built with uh, hill climbing in mind. This was at the uh, Classic Car Show at Western Park just a few weeks ago. We've got a Porsche 911 Carrera, uh, it's a 1976 three-litre car, of course air-cooled flat six in the tail. And the side view now of a primrose yellow, I'm guessing that's the colour, uh, Series 1 E-Type fixed-head coupe, a beautiful car. 
So much more interesting than all those grey cars alongside it. I do like a yellow car, it's very cheerful looking. Two for the price of one here in the foreground. We have a Ford Escort Mark II with many, many Sibi Oscars on the front. And just peeking in the background there is a much more modern Seat hatchback. 2002, is that? Now to the NEC Classic Car Show, not a Jensen Interceptor. This is an FF, the four-wheel drive version. Longer front, you can see the two sets of grills just visible on the front wing there. That's the giveaway that this is the FF. More Americana, here we have a Chevrolet El Camino pickup truck from 1965. Alton Park again, this is one of the VSCC events they used to hold at Alton Park and we've got a Model A Ford here, probably 1929 or 1930 or thereabouts. And a little Spitfire, this is a late one, this is a 1500 Spitfire, um, probably 1977, 78, somewhere around about that sort of date. Now Tatton Park, this was in the mid 2000s in the auction area, slightly damp Tatton Park, and we've got an R registration, 1976 Jaguar XJS. Goodwood Revival was where we spotted this Morris Z van, DNT24, on the livery of Mintex, the brake people. Carrying on with these yellow cars, again at the Revival, we've got the Hairy Canary, bright yellow AC Cobra. L registration, so early 1970s, about 1972, a minivan, a Leyland minivan in the livery of the AA Patrol Service. Back to uh, Loughton Park, and we have a side view here of a Triumph TR7 now. Is this a four cylinder car, or has it got a V8 shoe horn under the bonnet? I'm not sure, to be honest. I can't see from here. But there should be a lot of fun on the twisting Loughton Park course. Back to Western Park quite a few years ago, NOF 574R. That is a 1976 Triumph 2500S. You had the PI earlier, the fuel injected car, and then this was the twin carburetted version. Probably a lot more reliable. Back to Loughton, BF5516. That's a Morgan Jap, a three wheeler from 1928. This amazing machine, it dates to 1924 and I think it's La Bouille. I may be wrong there, but it's a very lofty saloon, very handsome machine, and it's the only one of these I've ever seen. Apologies in my pronunciation leaves little to be desired. This one I can manage though, this is a Ford Fiesta Mark I of 1981. We spotted this on holiday a few years ago. Uh, Busby on the side there of this Morris van. Morris Minor Base Value. And carrying on with these yellow cars, we've got M380 UME, which is a 1994 Lotus Esprit Turbo S4. Similar angle, very different car. This is a 1971 Ford Capri Mark I. Checking up, this has the 3 litre V6 engine under the bonnet, and the car dates to March of 1972, actually. To Goodwood Revival again, and we've got a Ferrari. Now I'm going to take a punt on this being a 250 GT, a Buono bodied car, one of 14 built between 1956 and 58. Behind it is the GMC Future Liner. Amazing vehicle. A couple of Morris Miners are next. Um, these were built late 1952, I believe, so these are MMs, these are highlight MMs, but they have the A-series engines of the Series 2 poking out from under the bonnet there. Now this was rev uh, the revival time at Goodwood again, and a lineup of Ferrari 250 LMs. an intriguing little machine, BF6052, it's a Ford Model T Speedster and this particular car dates to 1925. 
Here's a rarity spotted at a steam rally a few years ago. This is the Scammell Townsman. This replaced the Scarab that was built before. Fiberglass cab. This was designed by Michelotti, the man for, responsible for many triumphs, such as the Spitfire and the Herald and so on. The same event, and we have a rear view of a Saab 95 estate, finished in bright yellow. Great car. This pops up at local classic car shows on a fairly regular basis. Here's an oddball spotted at a vintage motorcycle club meet many, many years ago in an Elreg Lotus 7 S4. The S4 was uh, well known because it was the all fiberglass. Back to an AA patrol vehicle again, this time it's the Comma Imp van. This was down at the NEC. Dalton Park and we've got Mex 4C. This is a 1965 TVR Griffith race car. Carrying on with the theme of yellow cars, we've got this TWR prepped uh, Rover SD1. I presume this is a V8 version. Quite a rare Vauxhall here. This is a Forenza P registration Forenza, so registered what late 1975, early 1976 or thereabouts. Quite a rare survivor now. Back to VSCC Loughton Park, and we've got a trio of Austin 7s in here in the foreground. ATO 379, a primrose yellow car. to the NEC and the Renault Club stand in this fairly early Renault 4. Next we have BBD 496B. This is a Fairthorpe Electron Miner from 1964. Quite a, quite a smart little sports car, home built. And here, a very late example, circa 1980 or 81, example of the Austin Leyland Maxi. You don't see too many of those around, especially in bright yellow. Now, the Prescott Hill Climb and a side view of a Lotus Elan, fixed head coupe at speed, just having gone round the Pardon corner. Intriguing little Austin A35 is next. There are various modifications and accessories on the front, but the biggest change appears to be a big hole in the roof. It appears to have a removable fabric roof panel. Now, on the face of it, this is an Austin Healy Sprite Mark I, the Frog Eye Sprite of 1958-61, although it's on a much later registration plate. Um, so whether it's a later MG Midget masquerading as an earlier Sprite, I'm not quite sure. Possibly it could be a car that was imported several years after being built. Now, back to Malvern, circa 2005 or 2006, and this really rare Morris half-ton van. Not Morris Minor based. This is more like the, uh, the Oxfords of the mid-50s. This wonderful car is BF7914. This is a 1930 Renault, a 15 CV, a Viva 6 Landolat de Ville, with the fold back section there over the driver. The Fiat 124 spotted at uh, Tatton Park Classic Car Show many years ago. This is a 1971 Fiat 124 Spider, um, not Spider, Coupe rather. We're a three-quarter view now of the uh, Porsche 914. This midget's clearly seen a bit of action over on the Alton Park circuit. It looks well used. Is it still in use now? This was quite a few years ago, so I'm not sure if the car will still be about now, or much modified, or back to a road car. If you know anything about this car, let me know. Now, the Jaguar Daimler Heritage Trust Collection includes this light yellow Jaguar XJ6 Series 2. This is a 1976 car. Still plenty of yellow cars to come, so don't worry. We've got two here. In the foreground is a very yellow Saab Sonnet. Very smart it is too, and just peeking into the background is a Vauxhall VX220. Probably rarer than the Saab even. 
much paler yellow. We've got a G registration MGC Roadster. These are the uh, three litre BMC six cylinder engine in the front. And a Ford Escort that isn't a Mexico or a rally car. Mark 1 Ford Escort, Staffordshire registration there from 1973. Now, one of the wedgie Lotuses of the 1970s, RVF 400R. This is a Type 75 or Lotus Elite, an automatic version. I can't imagine there are too many of those around. An unusual Renault here, YHP 7S. It's a Renault 17TS, but hiding under the bonnet is a Renault Fuego turbo engine. This was converted quite a few years ago. Bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Back to the NEC and the Skoda club stand, B94WKN, that's a 1985 Skoda 120G Rapid Convertible. Rear engine of course, so plenty of storage space in the front. Slightly soggy classic car show somewhere, not quite sure where this was, but we have a Sunbeam Alpine. Race prepared MGB GT. Now, whether this is a four cylinder or a V8 power car, I'm not quite sure, but looking at the hump in the bonnet, I'm sus you know, suspect there's probably a V8 engine under there. There's a bonny little car spotted at Tatton Park many years ago. This is a very vintage Wolseley Tour, a little two seat Tour, early 1920s, I would guess. And very, very different spot at the car fest when it used to be held at Alton Park. We've got a Ferrari 365 GTB for Daytona. The owner of this one is Nick Mason. It's a race retro a few years ago and a somewhat modified Ford console Mark II. I'm not sure what you call it, it's not a hot rod. Um, yeah, if you don't know anything about that one, let me know, please, because. Uh, I don't know much about that kind of car. Back to Alton Park and a photo heading away from us is a Lotus Cortina from 1964 710 FNX in hot pursuit of a Mini. Still quite a few yellow car photos to come in this collection of 100 images. Next up a rear three quarter view of a Mini City. A reg car, so what's that, about 1983, a base model car. I guess even the passenger door mirror was probably an option like extra on those. You don't see too many of these around now, a Jensen Healy Mark II convertible. These were Lotus powered, not renowned for their reliability back in the day, and uh, very rarely to pop up at classic car shows now. More common, much more common, and I can really see why, is the Triumph TR6. We've got a yellow example here of a TR6 driving along, roof down, nice sunny day. This was near Whitchurch in Shropshire. CMB 581M, that's a 1973 Alpha 2000 GTV. Again, this is also a regular at some of the shows around here. Beautiful little car, the 105 Series Alpha. And the NEC again, we've got NW767. This is a 1968 race repair Ginetta G12. To Alton. We've got several yellow cars here. We've got an Elan Sprint in the middle with an Esprit just hiding on the right hand side and a somewhat more orange Lotus 7 part behind it. I'm assuming actually R300 registration, that's probably a Caterham 7 isn't it? Still Alton, different event. We've got A90 EMY, Chevette HSR, the 2.3 litre car, rally car. And on the Jowett Club stand down at the NEC, we've got this wonderful early 1920s vintage tour. Quite a lightweight little tour, very smart indeed. Rare survivor, Yorkshire built, as I said before. Going back some years now, and this is the Astle Park Steam Rally in the Mark II Ford console of the 1950s. Shades of a Ford Thunderbird with that front end, I think. MGB Roadster in bright yellow is next. This is a 1977 car. Many mirrors to aid rear view when parking. Another Jowett, but this time it's the van, the Jowett Bradford van. Mm. 
my shiny Morgan here from the late 1960s is next. Another open top car, this we spotted last year in 2021, an MGTF with a very appropriate MG registration on it. This was the last of the old style MGs before the MGA came along. This was Alton Park on a random test day, so it's fairly quiet, but someone turned up in this uh, late 1970s uh, Escort RS2000. Bright yellow car, black vinyl roof, great survivor. The matching steering wheel lock. Somewhat older though is this 1911 Hudson, a 3 litre powered car, just post Edwardian era. Fantastic survivor. A much modified Opel Manta Coupe is next. I'm guessing there are sort of uh, several tweaks under that particular bonnet. If you know more about the spec of this particular car, let me know please. And the Hillman Avenger Tiger is next. This was at a meeting held in Wem in Shropshire just a few years ago, the Avenger Tiger. Curiously, it was a sporty model, but it was always based on the four-door Avenger body shell. At the auction area down at the NEC, we've got a W Reg Mercedes. This is the SLC. You have the 107 series SLs with the removable hard tops and soft tops, but this is the longer wheelbase SLC Coupe. Always lots of Cortinas down at the NEC, and here's an example of one, a 1977 Cortina Saloon, bright yellow. Bit of pre-war Americana here, HUA 919 is the late 1930s, circa, what, 1939 or thereabouts, Hudson. There's a big old caddy just peering in the background as well, also yellow. This is very similar to the car that my dad had when I was a kid in the 1970s. He had a 144S in this colour, and this is the rare 142S, the two-door saloon. I'm not even sure if they were sold in this country. Handily, someone's put an information board on the side of this Citroen, telling us that it's a 1923 Citroen 5C V Torpedo. Lovely little two-seat tour. Even rarer than that though is this. This is a Fiat 128 Coupe 1300. I think I've only ever seen two of these ever. So seeing this one in the NEC, I've had a good look at it. The 2CV of course, this one from 1979. Very similar to the one that appeared in one of the Roger Moore Bond films. Bouncing around through the, the olive grove somewhere if I remember right. This one, at first glance, you think is an Opel Manta, but it's not. It's the Mark One Vauxhall Cavalier Coupe. Very scarce machine. You very rarely see these. The saloons are rare enough, but the coupes must be super rare. And rounding out this collection of yellow classic cars, we have an M registered Scimitar GTE SE 5A, powered by the 3 litre Ford V6. And that Reliant Scimitar rounds out this collection of 100 photos of yellow classic cars. Um, please take, take a look around the rest of the channel while you're here. There's a load of videos going on and there's uh, plenty more in the pipeline. So uh, like, subscribe, all that kind of thing. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.